This video shows on shows how to turn on make to order. So what we're going to do is so this video is to show how to turn on uh, make to order. It's a inventory route. What well, uh, there's a few things we need to do to, in order to turn this on. Uh, the first thing is to go to our settings. And when we go to our settings, we're going to have to turn on um, inventory uh, routes. And we do that under inventory. We're going to go down here to storage locations and inventory routes. So we turn both those on. We hit save. And then now what we can do is go to our inventory routes. So all I have to do is go to the inventory route and then from there I can uh, turn on make to order. So if we go back to our inventory and we go down to routes Then from here, oops, we're going to go to our main menu and then hit, uh, we're going to search for inventory. We're going to go up to configuration and click on routes. From here, we're going to hit filter and archive. We see this replenish on order, make to order. We're going to click that and then hit action. And then we're going to unarchive that. So now once we do that and we go to our product, for example, and let me see if I go to if I go to my table here and we see that this product is a manufactured and it's also set to replenish on order so in your case all you have to do is hit edit and then turn this one on and make sure it's turned on to manufacture as well and then hit save from there you're going to need to make sure your bill of materials is set up for your product and you have your materials and that it's a manufactured product once we go in and we create the product, or I'm sorry, once we go in and we sell the product, so when I create my quote, and then I add in my product, and it shows right here that this product is replenished on demand. So when I save and I confirm so I could send out my quote, get my customer to confirm it. Um, I'm going to do it right here in the back end. So I'm con confirming the quote. Once it's confirmed, it creates that manufacturing order. And now we can see uh, whether or not the inventory is reserved. This one is not available, so we're going to have to order that. This is expected. Uh, this was expected yesterday, but uh, we have some in stock still. So what we're going to do is uh, all you would do is hit mark is done but um, the link back to your sales order is here so you can get back to your sales order. Hope that makes sense. If anyone has any more questions feel free to contact me at cka at odoo.com.